This essay discusses the work of the artists Theo van Dusburg and Joaquin Torres Garcia using imaginational theory. This work can only be followed with a strong interest in art, theory and imagination. To fully understand the boxing match, you must do some self-study. In 1929, just before his death, the Dutch artist Theo van Dusburg had a letter correspondence with his intellectual counterpart, the Uruguayan artist Joaquin Torres Garcia. Both artists were residing in Paris at that time. This argument is key in understanding the nature of abstract art. I will prepare the blueprint for Le nouveau plan. Theo van Dusburg to Joaquin Torres Garcia en May 28, 1929. Theo van Dusburg, responsible for the foundations of the style movement in the 1920s took an interest in forming a new abstract art movement in 1930. Art Concrete, AC, previously known under the working title Groupment 6, 6. He invited JTG to join this group of abstract artists but couldn't convince him to come along. With Art Concrete, Theo van Dusburg formulated a systematic six-point thread with the definition of abstract art. It would dispel all figurative notions and form a block against the uprising surrealist tendencies. A very exclusive approach, something that Torres Garcia was all against. There's nothing to read in paint, only seeing, for art has grown up. Theo van Dusburg, Towards White Painting, 1929. JTG himself would make use of figurative characters inside his abstract geometric compositions. He was against the split up of the abstract artists in two groups, those who incorporate the figurative and those who work in purely geometric manner. Even though JTG, in the early days, was heavily influenced by the work of de Stijl movement, he soon later, through studying art from ancient civilizations, realized that this new abstract art wave was embedded in human nature. This new wave was just a rediscovery of a forgotten notion about the essence of abstraction, previously visualized in the work of the ancient people. JTG gathered with the artist Sufor and formed another, more inclusive group of artists called Circle and Square. This group included the headliners Kandinsky and Mondrian, but also women. AC was a six-men-only club. Both movements had a very short lifespan. Art Concrete was formulated through one magazine in 1930, and C&C had just one exhibition in Paris 1929. After this short split up, both parties came back together and unified again through a new group, Abstraction Creation. Pyramidical Construct, Idea Manifesto and a Search for the Universal Spirit. These schemes can be considered as a short lead-up, describing both positions, considering the issue of abstraction in art. When we look closer to the design of the logo for C and C we can find some interesting features. The surface of a circle can never equal the surface of a square, and the A balancing in between is characteristically shaped. This logo represents the dualistic, non-dualistic quandary of being in reality. Theo van Dusburg would formulate art as a pure pyramidical entity, superposing the quandary of being in reality. The manifesto Art Concrete was set up as a pyramidical construct. A manifesto is idea which describes the universal spirit as a singular truth reaching for a state of 100% purity. The six-point art concrete manifesto was a prophetic tool with nihilistic conviction, a tool for conversion, not for dialogue. Abstraction creation, member list. One year later both parties, after this short split up, united again, through an initiative by Georges Van Tongelu, pushed by ARP in a get-together at the Van Dusburg House, located close to where the existentialist Sata grew up, in the outskirts of Paris, Merdon. In 1934 Torres Garcia returned to Uruguay. The following year he founded the Association of Constructivist Art in Montevideo and gave the pioneering lecture, The School of the South, in which he talked about the importance of both South and North American schools of modern art. Were the Incas constructivists? So, what was this fight between Theo and Joaquin about? This is not merely a stylistic stance towards abstract art. It deals with much more, with perception, with the nature of reality. This is a moment in which visual art slips into science, into philosophy, into imagination. To understand the thinking processes of these both men, and value their positions I made use of a technique I coined imaginational theory. An imaginary fight of abstract, reality starring these two characters. Theo in one corner versus Joaquin in the other. I focus on key frames in their lifetime, while dealing with questions of abstraction. By going through the rounds, I explain the nature of their actions, the scientific, philosophical framework.
Abstract, Reality, Theo versus JTG. In the left corner with his designer scarf, we have the groundbreaking artist, born in 99, also known by a very few people under the name DT18. In the right corner we have the 15 years older grandmaster JTG, better known for insiders is Aladdin. Let's take a look at their specs. DT18 has been famously known as a publisher of art magazines, such as the obscure Dardarist Meccano, the world-famous Dutch de Stijl, which had over 200 readers at his peak times, and last but not least, his most essential publication, Art Concrete. A C6 point strategy was soon later recognized and fully utilized by the only known Swiss Bauhaus student Max Bill. DT18 played multiple rounds of abstract, reality, mostly against his fellow Dutch man Mondrian. Mondrian, who lost one A during the Parisian rounds, moved far ahead, after his all-time classical move, the Impressionist tree into abstraction uppercut. Nevertheless, Mondrian's progress stalls in the later rounds, by repeating moves and making slight alterations of previous combinations. DT18 knew how to cut corners, rapidly he jumped throughout the match, introducing new techniques, such as the cow 4 into 1 combo, and the diagonal moving into imaginary space, just outside the canvas. Mondrian's defeat went unrecognized by the audience, but can be traced back in his last unfinished diagonal hanging painting, Victory Boogie Woogie. Theo's last accomplishment was the execution of his own house. Coaches are his lifelong friend, supporter and pen pal poet Anthony Koch, and his second wife, the accountant Lena Milius. DT18 practiced in his early days with stained glass windows for church design. Aladdin was more a novelist by nature, publishing books such as The City Without a Name and Traditions of the Abstract Man. He created one magazine, Circle and Square. The second edition of C&C was mostly spread and read in Uruguay. Aladdin was a quiet type, who only trained and never picked a fight, until he met DT18. Most of his training consisted of wall painting and building sculptures from old wood. He also helped the Spanish architect Gordy with the design of stained glass windows for the Sagrada Familia. At the end of his life, Aladdin built his own wall. His coaches are his three children. Many people arrived in Paris to see this fight. Even giants such as Zara and Ball, Untouchables, Mondrian, former champion, Picasso and Braque, celebrated Cubist rounds, were all present at this special event. Just before the fight JTG gave Picasso one of his paintings, gift for his former training. Picasso, a poor man at that time, used the canvas. He overpainted JTG's temple in a landscape with something else. A poor blue figure sleeping inside the structural composition of the temple. Brack used the newspaper cut out the boxes article of the fight, designed by Theo, in one of his cubist collages. Nelly, the third wife of Theo, a musician, played the organ during the opening and the breaks. Malevich, the first star of abstract, reality, who went undefeated for almost a decade, with his hide-and-seek technique, such as white-on-white, white, declined the offer. He didn't like to travel. Marcel, who worked as a librarian in a Parisian library, was short on money for the seats he wanted. He couldn't afford the most expensive seats, the VIP front row seats, with his small librarian salary. He decided to sell his chessboard at the local market to buy the best seat. Later, Marcel Duchamp won a large sum of money by playing illegal chess games, under the personas Rose Salavi Mutt in a Parisian basement. With the money he bought all the TV rights of abstract, reality. The major profit generated, even these days, flows back to the Duchampian family, with headquarters all around the Western world. Robert Ryman took Van Dusburg's advice given in his pamphlet, Towards White Painting, very serious, his name appears all white on the guest list. He was honored to arrive on time, coming all the way from the US of A. The first thing Robert did, as a true American, when he arrived at the scene, is to let somebody take a picture of him, standing in front of a stand-in picture of the empty boxing ring. Original copies of the stand-in picture later produced by Robert himself can be bought in the higher-end art markets for just over a few million US dollars. In his work, First Conversion, we can spot the two boxes moving through the ring. Round number one, superhero characters. The first round is all about distortion. Theo shows up as his shadow IK Bonset, an abbreviation of Ik ben zot. I'm crazy, but he didn't project this shadow, it was his wife Nelly, playing the role of Petro. Theo his alter ego IK Bonset is used as a projection, to create confusion about reality. A character is used as a projection. JTG shows up in a self-made costume with abstract shapes, signs and letters, the New York suit. 
A suit forms of fashion is used as a projection. The idea of a suit is used as a projection to create confusion about reality. The suit is a smoke screen. It displays the modern city. Round number two, morphing. From distortion we move into a domain of morphing. Passing rubbish combines the compositional elements of text and the sound of words to create a projection of reality. By reading the poem out loud not only the words, but also the sounds of the words create the feeling of a cart filled with trash passing by. Constructed feeling is created through a new combination. América Invertida Map is a misconceived projection of reality. By inverting the map of South America, he points towards a new north, the south becomes the north. Constructed meaning is created through superposition. Round 3, Modern Revolt or Ancient Tradition This is one of Theo's first true abstract works, still with expressionistic character. Transforming Kandinsky's idea of expressionism into a construction, the painting was first set up with pencil and a pair of compasses, then later colorized. Technique, how it's made, becomes an abstract instrument. Figures with doves, the traditions of fresco wall paintings, which he made in the beginning of his life, are transformed into an abstract vocabulary of figures. The technique of painting a fresco on a wall sets the guiding lines. Technique, how it's made, becomes an abstract instrument. Round number four, between space and surface. In counter composition five, planes are moving outside the surface of the canvas into imaginary space. By rotating the canvas, the viewer unconsciously tries to expand the image outside the borders of the canvas. The composition slips into imaginary space. An idea also shown in Rembrandt's painting, Self-Portrait with Two Circles, discussed in the essay Abstract, Reality, Shadow Play. Contrapunto. By introducing diagonal directions in his wood-made abstract sculptures, the viewer projects ideas of movements into an abstract shape. His wooden sculpture starts walking away into imaginary space. Number 5. Imaginary space or universal signs. Hypercube. Endeavors in exploring and understanding the fourth dimension, in mathematical space. Imaginary visual space. Universal art. Endeavors in exploring and understanding the fifth dimension in signs, already present in ancient civilization, like the Incas. By combining these ancient words, figures, and letters from ancient language systems, Jungian archetypes, combined with modern vocabulary JTG creates a new mixture, thus so creating his own time warping language. Imaginary mental space. Round 6. Wall or building. Maison. Van Duisburg. Ideal, idea, of abstraction. Modulated shifting cubes facing a perfect third cube in the garden. The pedestal becomes sculpture, an ode to the highest order, the cube itself. Monumento cósmico. Joaquín Torres García. Universal signs carved into the wall become a pedestal for the higher spirit, with the three platonic shapes placed on top, the cube, sphere and pyramid. A plaque on the ground nearby has inverted cardinal points carved in it, so south appears at the top and north at the bottom. Inversion, pointing towards a new north. The wall has a secretly designed backside. Naturally formed roundish varying colored boulders sticking out of the earthly red colored surface. Intermission. Towards prismatic thinking. I arrived at the face of the wall. I reached out to touch it. It was hard. A stone wall with no give and no apparent entry. I looked in all directions along the wall. At this moment I realized. This was it. I found it. The source of all meaning. The place where we all come from. And the place where we all end up the edge of the universe. I realized that it's nothing, just the end. Not peaceful, but not not peaceful either. For an initial moment I was devastated, but then, I was happy. I returned to civilization, humanity. When I returned, people asked with great expectation what I found there. Is it the edge of the universe? Is it heaven? Is it the source of everything? I looked at the crowd and thought to myself for a moment, then I said, no, there's nothing. Just a strange light reflecting phenomenon passing through stained glass. Nothing to be concerned about. Disappointed that the edge of the universe and the source of all meaning had still not been discovered, humanity continued to look elsewhere, excited and hopeful that one day, maybe one day, they would find it. Round number seven, final round, biology. JTG wins by technical KO.
my last canvas, which I have been working on for a long time, in black, white, and gray. A controllable structure, a fixed surface without coincidence or individual quirkiness. Unimaginative, yes, numb, yes, but not mindless, not universal les and neither, I think empty, since it is everything that fits into the inner rhythm. It is both the pyramid and the falling stone, as well as the rock over the water, echo. It is so time is space, the infinitely great is the infinitely small. Thus, rich, and not poor. This painting is still in the making and I hope to finish it soon. Letter from Van Dusburg to Anthony Koch, the 23rd of January 1930. Knockout. Theo Van Dusburg was increasingly debilitated by asthma and bronchitis which prevented him from working much after 1930. After a year of illness, he died on the 7th of March 1931, age 47, in a health clinic in Davos, Switzerland. Theo's famous last words were, In place of dreams the future will substitute art based on science and the technical. Objetos sobre plano gris. Still life with black pan. Joaquín Torres García. Endeavors in exploring and understanding the sixth dimension, biological time. Transforming everyday objects in compositions of rough and simplified symbols. Metal. Dada. Toys. Toy maker JTG started working on ideas for wooden transformable toys already before 1920. Going directly to the source of creativity. The imaginative reality of children in which abstract language plays a much bigger role. The Arcadian state. JDG tried collaborating with manufacturing companies in Europe to produce the toys on a bigger scale, like Metz and Co. in the Netherlands, but finally succeeded in New York with Aladdin Toys, although it never became a commercial success. The New York warehouse burned down, with almost all his wooden toys inside of it. A dog's tail. It wasn't the source of all meaning JTG and Theo were chasing, it wasn't the edge of the universe, it wasn't heaven. It was hope, they were chasing something for having something to chase, something to strive for. But just like a dog chasing its tail, what they wanted they already were. There's nothing, for art has always remained the child. Exam question. If you can solve this question, you will know what you are looking at.